Now, we have been covering Madigan's fall from power, the crescendo today, of course, but we've been following the storyline for years. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kosloff now with us in the newsroom. Dana. Eric and Brad, it is quite the fall from power. Everyone knew he exercised lots of control over state politics, candidates and the like. Then came word that some of that control may have crossed the line. The last shoe, of course, dropped today with the indictment, but it really began years ago, first with the ComEd scandal and then Everyone knew something might be very wrong when he stepped down as House Speaker. For five decades, Springfield was Mike Madigan's kingdom. The powerful and longest serving House Speaker in the country's history, Madigan had tremendous influence over what laws passed, who got elected, and as the head of the state's Democratic Party, who got campaign money. We don't tolerate inappropriate behavior. But Madigan's fiefdom began to crumble in 2020 when he was implicated as public official A in a scandal in which ComEd officials admitted to paying out bribes and doling out jobs to those who supported the House Speaker. It's not good. Just over a year ago, Madigan decided not to run for the speakership again, paving the way for the election of Emmanuel Chris Welch. Congratulations. I asked Welch at the time about his conversation with Madigan regarding the change in power. So he didn't give you any insight into whether the timing has to do with ComEd or why he was resigning his seat? He did not. Welch calls Madigan's resignation the end of an era. I think his legacy is going to be pretty clear that it's because of Mike Madigan that we've had strong, sustained, democratic leadership here in the state of Illinois. Response from, uh, still waiting for a response from Speaker Welch this afternoon. Now, this is Timothy Mapes, Madigan's former chief of staff. Until today, he was the most recent member of, of Madigan's inner circle to be hit with federal charges, indicted last May on charges of making false statements to a grand jury investigating Mike Madigan. At the time, Mapes' attorney said he did nothing wrong. It's not clear if Mapes has cooperated with federal investigators since then. It's also not clear if he, uh, in fact, it's not clear if exactly rather who may have cooperated with the feds since the investigation and the initial indictments were launched. But before he died, State Senator Martin Sandoval, who had pleaded guilty to ComEd related charges, was cooperating with investigators. So it's it'd be interesting to note at trial, if there is a trial, what sort of weight that information from the former state senator had in this case. I'm live in the newsroom. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Brad Erica. All right, Dana, thank you.